Hey guys, Marty Boots here. Got a very interesting chart here for you. And I know a lot of people are bearish right now in the market. There may be a little bit of uh, short-term pain here. I mean, Bitcoin, you know, it's looking like it, it wants to roll over a little bit. But what I want to show you here is actually very bullish for the markets. I'm very bullish for a lot of altcoins in general, in my opinion. And it is Litecoin, right? A lot of people have give up on Litecoin. Um, they're they're kind of over it right now, and they they I don't know whatever the sentiment changes in the market, and uh, I think you know when a lot of people get really bearish on something, it's probably a good time to be buying it, and a lot of people don't like Litecoin right now. What I want to show you here is <clears throat> it's basically a fractal between Litecoin and Ethereum. Now, of course, Ethereum is leading. Why is Ethereum leading? Ethereum is leading because of all the DeFi stuff. So it naturally took the lead. This is uh, the one day chart, Ethereum. And no, so Ethereum naturally took the lead in the market and actually got a lot of buyers and pushed price up while Litecoin was left behind. But Litecoin is still a large cap coin. It's, you know, there's nothing to be, I mean, nothing major has changed. They're still developing and they're still working and they're still pushing it. I'm not saying Litecoin is anywhere near as good as Ethereum or anything like that. But at the end of the day, a chart is a chart. You can see here that we broke up right here and then we rolled right back over. Now, if I switch these arrows right down here, and I'll put this one right here, it might kind of give you a clue of what I'm about to talk about. The fractal, basically, when you when when you break down like this and, and work your way back up into the moving averages, it's usually a cluster. It's a cluster into the moving averages where there's a lot of chopping about before you actually break out hard to the upside. Now, Litecoin is doing the exact same here. Now, I've got another, I've got a better fractal to show you in one minute but I want you to understand this first. When you consolidate under a level and consolidate under the red 200 moving average is a very important level. Um, price will wanna break above that, depending on the structure of the market, okay? Now, you can see here, that, I mean, there was a lot of capitulation selling down here and all the rest, um, but Litecoin as well, you know, it dropped this capitulation selling down here and we broke back up and we're basically coming back down to test this support, you know, right in here. It's a big level, guys. It's a really big level. And the fact that we are bouncing back and consolidating here, if we break out of this again, I really believe Litecoin is going to run into a bullish market, right? I know a lot of people are bearish on a lot of the markets and, <clears throat> and we think they're, you know, uh, I get so many, so many messages about, you know, when is these gaps going to be filled in Bitcoin and blah, blah, blah. If we do get a bit of a dip, I think it's going to be an amazing opportunity to buy Litecoin. Now, I want to show you why I think Litecoin is going to move into a bull market. This is the first thing, right? We're consolidating here. If we manage to break up, we are going to start to get supported by all moving averages in Litecoin. Now, you can see that this was still two months. Uh, well, end of April, we'll call May, uh, May and June, right? So it was two months of choppy upward momentum, which was accumulation in Ethereum before price actually moved hard, really hard to the upside, okay? So what I'm saying here is it needs a lot of work, but don't sleep on Litecoin because if you bought down here, for example, right? If you managed to buy this, you were never on a loss. Basically, well, when, when price broke out, um, it did back test this area right here, but then you were always in profit. It was a good area to buy when nobody was really considering buying. And that's what I'm getting at here with Litecoin, right? Now, if I take you to a three-day chart here, <clears throat> a couple of things I wanna point out, and very important things. You can see the structure is the same in a way, right? You can see we're consolidating underneath the red 200 moving average. When you consolidate underneath the red 200 moving average, like right here, it almost looks like we're kind of kind of in this sort of area, right in in Litecoin. Um, I know we did try to break up and reject. That's no big deal. 
Um, for me, that's no big deal at all. It's kind of like here, right? The first attempt to break above rejects back down. He, and I know we did here as well, but you know, price moving back, it'll want to break out to the upside, right? It, it'll, you know, my opinion is that Litecoin is going to break out to the upside, right? I'm already long Litecoin just for disclosure. Um, anyway, right, you can see, so you can see the structure and it'll, it'll want to come back up. If we break, start breaking out above this red 200 moving average again, Litecoin is going to move very hard to the upside and the upside targets are going to be up here, right? 138 bucks, which is a substantial move for Litecoin, 200% uh, percent, almost, almost, almost. Right, now let me show you the weekly chart. There's a lot of similarities here. Now look at look at this similarities. Look at this for a fractal as well. Very, very important. You can see the only difference here on this chart really is the white 100 moving average was below here. It was a bit lower in, in the fractal while it's a bit higher here. Okay, now it would be better if it was lower to support price, but it's not to be all and end all. Now, you can see here the red 200 moving average formed on a weekly chart on Ethereum. Price moved up and consolidated into that, and then we exploded out through that. Litecoin is forming a very, very similar structure here, and it needs a bit of work, but there's a potential here that the lows could be in. And, you know, if we, if we do break up here and consolidate, just like Ethereum did, we broke up and kind of consolidated here. These moving averages are doing something like this. You can see these moving averages did this, okay? What happened? Price exploded out of this area. Price exploded out of this area right, right up here. We even took out the previous pivot, okay? Now, that's implying, you know, we're gonna take out this pivot, okay, when it finally runs, okay? So that is to the pivot, it's a 70% move and we take it out, we're just gonna call this a 100% move. Okay, that's my alarm. Um, so guys, it's in development, right? And it's a weekly chart, understand it's a weekly chart and it can take a lot of time to develop. So buying here is trying to buy in early to the trend. And of course you need to be early on the trend to capture the most moves, the most percentage gains. Um, if obviously if these lows hold, now I do believe that this is a good area to be buying. And I think over time, this will grind higher like Ethereum did and eventually break out to the upside pretty hard, pretty fast. Um, you know, two months time from here, for example, would be Christmas time. So uh, a new year, first of January, maybe we're gonna open up on the new year and start exploding, right? That That's, that's kind of a, a call that I'm putting in right now, but that doesn't mean that there can't be substantial, uh, decent upside you know, to be getting into positions, even if we move up to the red 200 moving average, it's still a 30% gain, right, in that time, uh, and, and price develops, and you're already sitting, you'll be sitting pretty in profit, and then come the new year, price can explode higher, and we could really move into bull markets on the new year, so we, we definitely cannot knock that. So anyway, guys, we've put out a lot of videos in our live trading room, uh, in our live trading room, we've got a, a group of fantastic members, we also have a lot of buy and sell alerts, uh, we're in there every single day, 24-7, 365 days a year. We also have $1 million worth of courses. We have 4,000 courses to train and help people develop and, and conquer the markets. So if you really want to up your game and uh, you know improve, start making good profits, and uh, really improve your skills and your knowledge, uh, we have a fantastic group uh, for you if you're interested. So you can take the three-day free trial down below. and. Uh, we will see you in there. Thanks for watching, guys. Do not sleep on Litecoin. Have a wonderful day.